Now, I've told you about psychometry, so let me tell you about my first experience with psychometry. I knew nothing about this. I was at a workshop and some decided to do psychometry. I knew one or two of the people there. So I, once it was explained to me, I knew I didn't want to look at the item or who gave the item that I was going to attempt to read because this was all very new to me. And so there was people put items of jewellery into a basket. And I took one out, it was a small watch. That's what I know now, but I, I could feel it. It was, a, it was some sort of watch. And I did not know who owned that watch. So I tuned into it, and the things that were coming to mind for me was um, uh, a funeral, a holiday, a dog, a leather jacket. That's the way it came. Whatever pops into your mind when you're doing psychometry, just go with it. So I wrote them things down, and then I discovered that there was only other, one other man in the group and this was actually his watch. You would presume it would have been a lady's watch because it was quite small, but it was his watch. If I'd have seen him put it into the basket, I might have tainted what I was doing. So I told him what I had got from this information. And the inf once he heard this information, he said to me, the holiday was the best holiday he ever had with his wife. This is what he, what came to mind for him. And then, Maybe he was wearing the watch then, I don't know. I never asked him at the time. And then he said the funeral, at his wife's funeral, he was had split him up from her many years previous, and he wasn't allowed to go to the funeral. And then I said about the dog, and he was a bit of an artist himself, and he said that he was minding a neighbor's dog, and he had did a picture of the dog, and the next day he gave me uh, a copy of the picture of that dog, which was very interesting. And I also got to meet his daughter the next day. And would you believe it? She was out buying a leather jacket that day we were doing that psychometry. So it's very interesting. So, and I had no previous knowledge of this. So you go and get going and doing that. Whatever you get in your hand, tune into it. And just write down whatever pops to mind. Don't go looking for right answers. That's a conscious thing. This is coming up through the energies being interpreted by your subconscious mind in some way. And that information is coming through in showing your psychic abilities for mediumship.